Good morning. This is letter two. Um, as an opener, um, I want to explain a little bit more why these letters are so important to me. Um, I, I started doing two more letters, um, and I wrote them out, I wrote a video, um, but then I went back and realized them, and I was like, mm, this is not for God, that was for me. Um, it was complaining, it was being like, God, I'm the problem, I'm the problem, fix me, what about the other? That's not the solution. I was listening to a pastor, I was listening to a pastor the other day, and um, he said, he's like, the only way to, the only way to defeat evil is by doing good. That's it. And it's not by um, being like, God, I'm the problem, I'm the problem, and trying to, I don't know, woo your way into it. I, I don't know how else to say it, but it's just like, you have to come full confession, and not only, it's not only, because it's a two-handed, it's a two, it's a two-handed uh, process. You have to come and confess um, your sins and come and confess it, but then you also have to let him guide you next. It's like, there's the confession and then there's the action, and that action is this for me. Um, my action in following God and showing my dedication to him. Um, and I don't even show it because, again, he knows my heart, but it's more to prove to me um, or others. Um, no, it's to prove to me. Um, it's to prove to me that my, I have dedication to Christ because um, it's not enough. It's not enough to follow God, but we have to obey God. Um, there's a great verse that... Uh, points this out in 1 Samuel 15, 21. Um, but Samuel replied, does, um, does the Lord not delight in burnt offerings and sacrifice as much as in, in, the, obedience, um, in the obedience of the Lord? Um, to obey is better than sacrifice. To kneel is better than the fat of a ram. Um, I don't want to be, I think that verse describes it perfectly. I think it's we can get caught up in the Christian culture um, of like, oh, raise your hands in church. Oh, sing every song. Know every word to gratitude. Know, uh, know all this stuff. Um, but it's this, like, or join a connect group and, and the whatnot. But um, that's not enough. That's just the following stuff of Christ. That's just the sacrifices for Christ. And those are good. Those are whatever. And like they're, they're a part of the process, but there's something deeper. Again, God knows God knows um, your heart and he wants a relationship. And you can't fool him in that relationship. You can't fool God into um, being like, oh, I love you enough. I love you enough. No relationship could survive on that. No, no relationship could survive on I love you enough. It has to be all or nothing. Um, you have to be fully committed. You can't be divided between other things. Um, but... Uh, another reason for these videos, um, like right now, I want to focus on uh, the importance of obedience to God um, and why that does it. But um, to give you a little bit of context, um, I felt in my heart for a long time um, that God is going to be calling me to teach one day. Um, whatever that is, it's probably just going to be like in a connect group or in a um, youth setting. And that's fine. And I'm where God wants me is where he'll lead me. Um, but I need to practice a little, um, to, to learn how to talk about God and my experiences with God and my encounters with God and where he's taught me and how he's taught me some valuable lessons over the years. So these are going to start turning into practices. Um, like what I'm learning on my daily day basis is not going to be a therapy session where it's just like, Hey, this is what's going on in my life. That's between me and someone else. Um, that's between me and God, um, first and foremost. Um, so this is just relaying and sending letters back to God and being like, hey, here's what I'm hearing from your word. He's already written, I need to get a Bible. Um, he's already written letters to me, and these are my response letters um, to God. And I love that. I love that how that's turning, how it's turned into that. Um, but um, I think another reason why it's important for me, and this is just, like, I would, um, I, I do have a slight confession to make. Whenever I heard, um, this is, this shows my immaturity in my, um, walk with Christ and why this is so important. Um, whenever I heard somebody say, oh, it's important to obey God, 
So I was like, yeah, but it's important to have an obation, uh, relationship with God. And like, that's what I said in my mind. I was like, the obedience is important, yes, and, and whatnot. But it's like, it hits so much harder um, why it's important. And I think the story of um, how not obeying God hardens our heart. Um, and Saul gives a perfect example of this. Um, one, if you're not obeying God, you're obeying your flesh. And that's going to lead to hard, harmful ad, um that's going to lead to harmful action. And in the, um, I wish I had the verse to pull up, but in the story of David and Saul, right? David was playing the harp and Saul was jealous of him and whatnot. And he obeyed his flesh and threw a spear. Um, David didn't move. David had the Lord and the strength of God behind him and threw another spear. And each time, I found this so interesting. Each time Saul said he was sorry. Each time Saul was like, I'm sorry for what I'm doing and threw it again. It's like, what are you doing? He was sorry to the man. He wasn't sorry to God. And I like, and I think that distinction is so, so powerful. I've hurt people in my past. Um, I've said some nasty things. I have a mm, rocky relationship with my mom. And I've said some unnice things to her. And by me, I'm going back and apologizing. And that's super, extremely hard for me. But it's not because I'm trying to apologize to her flesh or apologize to to her, it's to apologize to God. God's reconciled in me. It's like, you need to make this right. Her mom just died. I know that's tragic, but her mom just died. And I so badly wanted to be like, well, you're going to die alone too. Like that sounds tragic, but God has absolutely just like, and this is where I think it's powerful to really let God take over your heart and your voice, because that's something I would have said back then. But God's been like, no, you need to, as much as you don't want to, Eric, you need to text her. You need to be like, hey, I'm praying for you. Because um, whatever God is doing in her life, that's up to her, him and God. But my reconcile with her is an obedience to God. As much as I don't want it, she's hurt me a lot. And that's where it's like, it's super hard to forget. That's, it's super hard to, um, it's super hard to forgive that person. But I know that I can't do it alone. In order to properly forgive, in order to properly forgive, not only just the hurt ones that hurt you, not only just, um, like, not only asking God to forgive, because that's pretty, pretty difficult as well, um, but also forgiving yourself. Um, that's, that's super difficult, but you can't do it alone. You truly cannot have self-love until you realize that um, God has that love on you. Um, Stephen Furtick. Stephen Furtick said um, something interesting. He said, I am the re direct reflection of the creator. How you view yourself is how you view God. And I know that sounds a little cocky, but it's God created you. And if you are constantly, um, if you are constantly just putting yourself down, being like, oh, I'm the devil, I'm this, I'm this, I'm this. How are you allowing God to work through you? How are you allowing God to truly bless others with your life um because this pain has to be for something and if we continue to disobey in god that pain will just automatically get worse that pain will automatically just absolutely like it will inflame into a fire that's uncontrollable um and the reason why we bring that in is to obey god and even like david's not off the hook yet either um like yes we can look at saul and be like oh he he was the one who um, was jealous and, and listened to his flesh and obeyed his flesh and obeyed his emotions, obeyed that, and um, he failed. But even in a later date, David um, slept with Bathsheba, and that's a whole other story. But it shows that like this obedience to God is not a, and this is something I'm, I would love to see at the end of my life, um, how well I obey God, because it's like this, this obedience has to come on a daily basis. This obedience has to come through discipline over and over and over and over and over again. Okay, like God can keep sending his letters to me, but I still have to keep sending my letters to him as much as it's like, it's almost exhausting, but that's my obedience to him right now. But, every, but everybody else's obedience comes um, in a different form. Um, obviously for everybody else, it is going to be something different. Right now, these videos or these response videos are a direct obedience to God because He's teaching me, he's, pra he's helping me practice now. Um, he's having me practice now um, so I can teach others. Um, and also just get out there in the world, in the world. 
Um, there's another verse that stuck out to me. Um, if anyone obeys his word, love love for God is truly made complete in him. This is how we know we, we have him in me. Um, my note that attaches to that is it's easy to disobey when we are not constantly being fulfilled with the Lord. If you, if you were entirely, if you were, um, if you were being entertained by the world, um, you will obey the world, right? So if like, um, if we are truly in love with God, we are wanting to be filled with his word. We want to read his letters over and over again. It's like an, um, a letter from a lover, um, or it's just like, you want to read it all the time. You love it. You just like, you soak up every word. It's like, Where's our love for God um, in that? And it's like, are we reading the Bible and having that same anim- like that same um, affirmation, that same like absolutely just absolute fulfillment for it? Um, and is the Lord the love of your life? Is the Lord the actual love of your life? Because if it is, you will want to obey Him. Honestly, one of the other kids we we're having um, a sermon the other night at youth, and um, our pastor asked, "How does like what um, does it mean to honor somebody?" And one of the kids said to obey. And I was like, oh, I was like, dang, these kids, they, these kids are smart. Um, and it is truly to, to obey. If you love somebody, you want to obey them. You want to show them love. You want to hear their words. You want to hear their, what they're trying to tell you. Um, uh, yeah. And obedience is a, is a daily, is a daily decision. Um, and the one thing that kind of is scary is sometimes you won't see that um sometimes you won't see the um the fruit of that for a long time um like for me if i if i go into teaching and whatnot and i go into these connect groups um and there's a kid that um there's a kid that uh, comes into my life and I, I give a message. I give, I give one of these talks and I don't see that come to fruition until further down the road because there was like a pastor in my childhood that, um, spoke to me and was really, really good and really like, um, really impactful. But I went after that and lived a life of sin. I went after that and fell away from God. I fell out like after that and became pompous, became arrogant in my, in my belief. If he could see me now and where that came to flourishing, that had an impact on me. And it's it sucks that, one, we're not on our timing, that we're on God's timing, and that we need to be patient in him, that we're not going to see the fruits of our labor for several, several years. Um, and that's where it's like learning that God, because that sounds... Uh, but God is outside of time. God is outside of our limited perspective of, like, right here, right now. And I think... That's why it's so important to trust him and obey him. Um, one last thing before I sign off. There was, um, I was sent this um, from a friend because obedience to God is not going to be easy. There's going to be struggle, and there's going to be struggle regardless whether you go through it in life. It just makes it easier when you do obey him because when you're not obeying him, you are now your worst enemy, and you're fighting what God has tried to do in your life. Um, but um, I love this. I love this, absolutely. Um the more the more we chase God, um, the more we chase God, the more we struggle because the devil wants us to quit right now, right before we get there. Um, the struggle means we I haven't been con- convicted, conceived. I haven't been um, pulled away. Um, the burden was the the burden was often the blessing we the burden was often the blessing we prayed for. Um, oh, um, what you see isn't always what it is. It's hard to stay encouraged when you don't see the change or progress. Trust in the spirit, not yourself. Don't quit and um, in disengage. Dig deep. Um, when you lose, when you lose it, when you when you lose it all, when you lose it all is where you build it. Yeah, sometimes you got to destroy a building in order to build a new one. Um, I love that. Sorry for the choppy reading. This is another, like, this is the thing, because I can make so many mistakes on here, and I love that. I can make so many mistakes on here, and not very many people will see it, and again, this is more just for me, but it's exposure. It's, like, I didn't, like, I need to learn how to read better, um, because I'm I'm choppy, but um, I want to look back on these in a couple years and see how far I've grown. But that's it for now. Um, I want to come with 
more. I want to come with more, and I'm hungry for more. Um, but this is a good process for me. Um, again, end in prayer. God, um, please protect my steps going forward. Please um, let me just be a vessel for your love, for your joy. Please let me just be a vessel for like your abundance of life and how your how you've changed me and let me be a testimony and example to others that even if they're going through struggle even if they're going through pain even if they're going through suffering that you that you use me as an example um or you pierce their heart and you can ha use me as a seed use me as just a reflection in a, a, a small ingredient in what you're trying to create in their life thank you for always pulling me back to you thank you for this 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 love that I have for you um, and help be put to good use um, help this relationship that we have um, be your will and not my own in Jesus name I love you amen thanks for listening um, and have a good day um,